Hello and welcome to Saturday. I'm documenting something, a phenomena that happens in our home from time to time. Sometimes, I'm upstairs, and I come downstairs, and Mallory is gone. It's not that she's left, it's that she's hiding. I don't know why she does this. This is a fun game for her. And I'm waiting like for me to say these things because I'm wondering if it'll trigger a laugh from her because one thing Mallory is really bad at is holding in laughs. She seems to be doing pretty good right now. We finished game night and I came downstairs and I had to use the bathroom briefly but whenever I walked over here her door was closed for her studio. And I don't know where she is. And I looked around the house like real cautiously and I called out and she didn't answer and I'm like, okay, she's doing the thing where she hides. This happens, this happens a lot and you would think that I would know all of her hiding spaces, but I don't. So I'm going to see maybe if we can find where she's hiding. She's doing a really good job of like holding in her laughs because she's a she's a laughy person. Can you fit in the closet? You can't fit in the closet. You definitely can't fit in this is like a yeah that you ain't gonna fit in there. Not in here. Right? No. Would you have stepped into here? Huh? No. You're definitely not in your studio, right? Did I? Right, I didn't miss this, right? You're not hiding behind a curtain. You wouldn't be hiding in here. You can't even. No, that's got stuff in it. Okay. Where's? Where is your mother? Where is she? Is she on the floor over here? Sometimes she's like on the floor over here. No. What the heck? Where is she? Oh, he just looked up there. He just looked up there. What's up there, Sagan? There you are! Oh my god! You... How hard was it to stifle laughter? You, you, you were doing a great job. You've never done that good. It hurt. You hurt? Sagan gave you away. I saw him in like... He was crying, but he came over here and just briefly looked up, and I was like, that's it. That's where she's at. <laughs> You've been up there the whole time! <laughs> because we... <laughs> we finished... We finished... We finished game night, and I came downstairs, and I, I went into our bathroom to use the bathroom. When I came out, the door was closed. I never suspected you would have went up there. <sighs> Preposterous. <laughs> Anyway, Mallory gets her kicks this way. This is one of the things that brings her joy is, is occasionally hiding in the house somewhere and then I have to find her. Although she normally doesn't do quite a good, as good of a job as stifling laughter. It hurt though, cause like, I was, like my diaphragm would roll when I was trying to like You're... stifle it. Oh. Incredible. And when you were talking about how I laugh, I almost burst out laughing. Really? Yeah. I thought for sure, for a minute I was like, oh God. Is she not here? Because, <laughs> like, that normally gets you. Anyway, um, so we, we've, had a, uh, we've had a good evening. Um, notable thing is that we, it was Saturday, so we did Stephen and Friends, and uh, for the first time in a long time, we played golf with your friends, and it worked, which is just kind of wild. The last recording we did was in June, so it's been six months since we've, or near about six months since we recorded an episode. And uh, the game is just, for a long time it was a broken mess, but these two episodes that we made, because we did uh, episodes 12 and 13, one on a space level and one on a Worms themed level, the levels were both very good and the game didn't run like garbage and the game didn't crash. Maybe uh, maybe the times are changing, I don't know. But uh, that, that went well, I was really excited about that. You gave away her you hiding. Gave me away. Yeah, I honestly it would have taken me a while before I thought to check on the stairs. Yeah, I mean I would have got there eventually. There's only so many places you can hide. 
But I had, I had looked around and I was like, Mouse Hide and Go Seek doesn't normally <laughs> take her too far. And I was having a really hard time. The the day that you figure out that you could like get under a couch. Oh, I don't know if I could. Well, I would never find you because I, I I refuse to bend down that far. That's way too far. I'm like I can't keep that do it. in mind. Great. <laughs> the game continues. See, I never hide from her partially because I'm just a little harder to hide. <laughs> There's more of me, so I have to like I'd have to get really creative. I was just sitting at the top of the stairs. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Also, we released Mallory's uh, pie video today that we recorded a little bit ago. Um, there was there was a, a, quite a bit of work that actually went into, well, certainly filming it, but then also in post. Um, but they came out really good. And it was interesting to see everyone get so excited about it because this is the this is honestly the most different thing you've ever done. Like... Because you've been releasing painting videos, and you have occasionally been doing like these little extra things of like, oh, we're going to teach a concept. But they're all painting. But they're related. all painting, and this is the first time that you've been like, hey, I'm gonna make a pie. So that people were really excited about it, and that was that was exciting for us because you know it was uh, it was something different for us to create and it was a different set of it was a different skill set too which is you know exciting for us mm -hmm. so we'll see uh, we'll see what happens in the future i don't i don't think that'll be the last cooking video that mal makes ha ha, ha. mal makes um, so i'm sure in 2020 we'll see uh, maybe a few more it'll be exciting mm -hmm. anyway uh, i'm going to go ahead and end it here thank you so much for watching i am pretty tired. Um, for whatever reason, lately I've been having, I, I've always suffered from eye migraines. Um, I usually don't get the headache. I just have the blindness. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, they're called um, ocular migraines and it's it, basically exactly what I described. Um, you what, like you'll get really bright or sometimes flashing lights that are in your vision. Um, like it's not that you see them, it's like your brain generates them. And eventually your vision just completely whites out for some amount of time. For me, it's usually like 20 minutes. Um, and it's usually associated for most people with a headache, uh, like a very severe migraine. Um, fortunately, I dealt with that only when I was in high school. And since then I get the blindness, but not the headaches. But uh, normally I get like one a month. For whatever reason, I've had like seven in the last two days or something and that's real weird normally i can um if i feel one coming on i can kind of curb it by getting some caffeine into my system um but a lot of t a lot of times i've been having them and i like in the process of consuming like a coffee or something so it's not that so i'm not really sure what's going on I'm not i'm not sure i dealt with them a lot when we were when we lived in columbia so hopefully I'm not going back to those days, but uh, I don't know. I'll just keep an eye on it, ha, huh. and uh, see if if I can notice a pattern to why it's happening. But um, normally, like one a month, so to go from one a month to just a ton in in the last few days is really bizarre, and uh, you know certainly affects productivity to a degree if you suddenly are blind and you're like, well, I gotta wait for this to pass. But uh, you know, I'll I'll update the vlog if I learn anything new. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?